The ant, a social insect. Watching ants is fun. Ants are always busy performing some job for the good of the ant community. For their size, ants are very strong. They can carry sticks and stones many times their own weight. The head, thorax, and abdomen make up the body of an ant. Two large compound eyes in the head of some ants enable them to see very well. There's a close-up of the compound eye there on the right. Some ants have three simple eyes on the tops of their head in addition to the compound eyes. The long antenna are used by the ant to communicate with each other. Strong jaws, mandibles, are used to cut, carry, dig, bite, build, and hold things. Two tiny claws at the end of each of its six legs help the ant walk almost anywhere. The cleaning spurs or notches on the front pair of legs comb out the antenna when they are dirty. Two stomachs are contained in the abdomen. One stores food for the ants, the one stores food for other ants, the other is for its own use. It has a personal and a public stomach. Two rows of holes along the abdomen provide the ant with air. An ant begins its life as an egg. A queen ant lays many eggs at one time. The eggs continually get nourishment as worker ants lick them. After the eggs hatch into larvae, the workers feed them liquid and solid food. The larvae are carried about in the jaws of the workers for airings and placement in proper temperatures. Some kinds of ants, some kind of ant larva, like moth larva, spin cocoons as they grow into the pupa stage. When the pupa organs are developed, worker ants use their sharp jaws to gently cut the cocoon open. Out of the cocoon crawls a new collo, or young female adult. It grows darker in a few days. A few male ants are also born. Some have wings for the marriage flight with the queen. The most important member of the ant colony, the queen, sheds her wings after the marriage flight and starts to lay eggs. See the difference in size between the queen at the top and the worker at the bottom? The queen depends upon the workers to feed her and help her ten and help tend her eggs. A worker has many duties. This one is guarding the nest as it stands in attack position. Enemies are sprayed with formic acid from its abdomen. A caterpillar is no match for these ants, which can kill it by biting and spraying formic acid. The ants then digest, dissect their prey and carry it away for food. Some ants gather nectar found in blossoms. Aphids are sometimes called ant cows. They cover the stems of some plants and suck juices from them. A stroke of this ant's antenna will eject some honeydew from the aphid. The, ants, the ant eats the honeydew. Rufa ants build their nests in the forest. The tunnels go deep into the ground. Inside trees or houses, carpenter ants make their homes. The reddish southern stinger, sometimes called the fire ant, can dig its jaws deep into human flesh. The unusual parasol ants can be recognized by the long line of waving leaves they carry above their heads. 
underneath the ground, the, the leaves are used to fertilize the fungus garden on which the parasol ant feeds. South American army ants look menacing. They feed on cows and other large mammals, which they can kill and devour quickly. These ants eat cows! Some ants called slavers prey on other ants. They return to their own nests with the larvae of peaceful ants and raise them as slaves. A silk thread from the larva helps the leaf nester to weave leaves together for its nest. Harvester ants gather grain and bring it to their nests where other ants husk it and chew it into a pastry food. The honey hoarder of desert areas collects nectar in its bloated stomach. Some become bankers and spend their lives attached to the ceiling of the nest providing food for the others. Can you trace the important stages in the life cycle of an ant? How do ants eat, protect themselves, and build their nests? The end.